three things. The first is look at your income, your expenses, and your savings, and then do a stress test so that you get yourself secure. If you were to lose your income, or if the income were to fall beyond a certain level, and you play that out, maybe that means you go get unemployment insurance or, or whatever, how long can you live in an acceptable lifestyle? So many aspects of life are more actually the opposite convention. Like comfort, it's comfortable. Well, look, life teaches you over and over again. You want to get stronger? Okay, it's not comfortable. You want to, okay? So stronger does not go with necessarily comfortable. Pain, okay? Pain plus reflection equals progress. Pain is a teacher. You want to eliminate pain from your life? You're going to have a better life? No, 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 because it's giving you messages, okay? So, so many different things are the opposite of what we're taught. And it goes down to even the education system, okay? You failed. Hey, that's the beginning of a discovery process. That's a good thing, okay? Okay, now how do I look at failure and learn from failure? No, you're stupid, you failed. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of concepts in there, so I'll, uh, and they're related, and I'll, uh, but I'll parse them. Um, first of all, on the nature, it's really a self-discovery process, discovering what you want, uh, discovering what you're like. Like you were describing your various cases where you're discovering what you like and that you go through that discovery. And, and the best way to do that is to want to do that, right? It takes an hour and it's a self-discovery thing. I, 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 Did you guys, but, you created it yourself? Yeah. And, and we've used others. We've used Myers-Briggs, Team Dimension, Workplace Inventory, and so other. And then we moved beyond that. The main thing like is, if you want self-discovery, you, then, you, then you'll find your ways of getting the self-discovery. They'll appear all around you. And yes, you have your nature, the thing that pulled. Don't be you know, a round peg in a square hole. Find your nature, what's going to flourish and make your, you know, that's why I said when you were talking about your development, mine too, make your passion and your work the same thing. Know what your nature is, yes. So I believe in terms of um, that particular nature. Then we get to the particular of um, one of the big choices in life is save your life or um, accomplish. Like we have a lot of choices in our lives. And they're almost sort of mutually exclusive sometimes. Ah, uh, you know, I just, I want to go to the ball game and I want to watch a movie and I want to do that. And I just want to sit back and on a nice day and smell the roses. Okay, simultaneously, I want to change the world. Okay, I want to change the world and I've got this. Or um, the work-life balance question and all of those. We face those types of choices, right? So um, it's really important to go above oneself and to reflect on that. And also, by the way, to realize that um, the, the choices are not, you're approaching the choice wrong when you often see it as kind of that trade-off because the truth is you can have a lot more life and you can have a lot more if you just know how to get more out of a minute. How much do I get per, per minute or how much do I get per hour? Do you have secrets on that? Because I will well, take them the, there Well, there are a number of them in, in here but it, and we could talk about them. But the capacity to rather than, we do all have to face our choices, but to also realize that you can expand how much life you're gonna get out of life and how at, at that range if you really do it well. So there are those choices. Which are those choices? And we face them, and then you have to decide how to do them well. First of all, if you do make your passion and your work the same thing, um, then you're, it's great, right? Because your passion, uh, whatever it might be, you're a painter or you're an entrepreneur and whatever that is, and you find that more enjoyable than going to a ball game, let's say, then that becomes a passionate thing. That's one thing. Second to know how to work with people who can do things really well, to get the most leverage out of people, okay? Third, how do you get yourself really, what are the right work habits? Um, 
you know, anyway, there's a whole bunch of those kinds of things where you, you how do I just, just you, what you say, how do I get it done without me doing it? Who's the best to do it and how do I get it? And all, you, all of a sudden you open yourself to up to all different possibilities of how you can do that, right? No time. I think Tim Ferriss wrote, what, the four minute or, 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 or the four hour uh, for our work week, yeah. Work week or something. Like, okay, for our work week. Okay, or okay. There are approaches, uh, all those ways of being able to do that. First, the, the, that that's why that phrase I use the phrase, struggle well, or tough love. Okay, I put those words together because that exem exemplifies the fact that people don't think they go together. And so if you start to realize struggling well is what you uh, will get you what you want, okay, rather than avoiding struggle, uh, that's what I'm trying to convey. And so um, if you realize that, then you will go to the struggle. You won't be averse to the struggle. And you will think, and, and then under that in the book, I wrote all these different ways of what it means to struggle well, okay, how you uh, have thoughtful disagreement, how you listen to maybe you're not good at that or not, how you learn, how you navigate all the ways through that so that you get stronger. Because if you don't struggle, you won't get stronger, okay? So struggling well, go above it, you know? Okay, struggling well, a big element is to go above your struggle, just like you did. I, you look back and say, okay, um, am I struggling well, rather than be in it and doing those things. So there are a lot of different ways of how to struggle well, but if you know, uh, okay, that struggling is a good thing. Okay, if you wanna be strong, it's a good thing. If you worry, you don't have to worry. And if you don't worry, you have to worry, <laughs> okay? Because what I mean is, um, if you're worrying about what can go wrong, you, chances are you will create the protections against that thing going wrong, and therefore that's good. And if you're not worrying about the things that are gonna go wrong, then they'll probably, the things you never expect are gonna come and hit you, okay? And so it sounds counterintuitive. If, if you worry, you don't have to worry, and if you don't worry, you better worry. But what it means is that process of, okay, go to the thing, go to it, and enjoy it. View these things as puzzles. Your personality will change, you'll enjoy it, okay? Because life is a puzzle. It's, it's a going through the jungle, okay? It's, it's like that, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a story. You know. So I, um, I crash, and I figure, oh, risk and reward go together. You want to have a great life, okay, and you want to be safe at the same time, they sound almost like mutually exclusive, okay? So I, so I viewed it as, okay, I'm like sitting on one side of a jungle, and that if I can get to the other side of a jungle safely, I'll have a great life. But uh, okay, but if I cross the jungle, ooh, all sorts of things are gonna happen. Now what am I gonna choose? Am I gonna be on this side of the jungle and uh, have just an ordinary life, 